Hi, everybody, and welcome to Traveling with Russell, and welcome to a new live stream, and welcome to Friday night here in Moscow. It's just gone 10 minutes past 10 in the evening. It's actually 11 degrees outside. It's actually not a bad day, really. Uh, the only thing was I got absolutely wet through on the way home. I went to the local hardware store with my wife today, and we thought that the clouds were going to miss us. And then as we were getting, uh, getting to go catch the bus home, we got absolutely drenched. So, yeah, uh, here we are in my new apartment, I guess, or new location. Uh, I think it's a little bit more echoey in here because I don't really have lots of furniture in here just yet or lots of things uh, properly set up. Uh, if you might have joined my previous live stream, this is now the second one that I've done from this location. The other one was like a lunchtime live stream. So this one's a little bit more in the normal time slot uh, of when I do live streams typically on the weekends and typically in the evening. So yeah, I see there's a few people here already. There's also 16 likes. Thank you if you put a like on the live stream. Maybe you're watching, maybe you're not. Uh, perfectly fine. Uh, I see there's also a few people chatting in the live comments as well. Let me know how you are. Let me where, know where you're from. Let me know that you can see and hear me. Uh, I'm not fully... I don't actually watch back my live streams after I host them. So I don't really know how the quality is. If the you do have the option to change the quality, there's a little cog where you can change the resolution. Sometimes it defaults to a lower quality. You can always change that. I've also set up my light a little bit differently. So I'm not sure if, you know, I'm pretty sure it's all good. So I'll just go with that. I see quite a few regulars here in the live chat as well. So adequate Xiaomi guy was the first person to comment. Now, I know that you are a very big proponent of my uh, crazy idea. And a couple of live streams ago when we were in the other place, I didn't really mention that we were going to be moving in when we were because we were still waiting for quite a bit of paperwork to go through. So we're here. Uh, and it's amazing so far. So yeah, Fireflux, hello. Uh, how's it going? Hello, Russell, it, uh, the Floridian in Jacksonville. All right. It's original name, Cal Ford, Florida. I didn't know that. Also, Jackport. I think that was what the cruise lines were calling the destination where the ships could dock Jackport. Um, yeah. Oh, we have Super Chat. No left turn. Best wishes for your new home in Russia from Maui. Thank you so much. Maui, Hawaii. I always just, it just spins me out so much that people are on opposite sides of the world from where I'm sitting and you're watching this live stream. Yeah, I will talk a little bit about the apartment, well, a little bit about it. Um, I'm sure maybe people have put two and two together and realized that the previous uh, Russian apartment tour video on the channel is actually this place where we're living, um, but I didn't basically make it a thing in that video. I'm sure people who watch me on or follow me on Telegram will probably realize that it's the same place or at least some of the uh, background or foreground of the video is the same place. Yeah, thank you so much for the super chat. Wow, that's amazing. So basically, um, going forward, apart from making videos and using money to make more content and to go out to film things on a daily basis, uh, pretty much it's an apartment fund now. <laughs> it's become that. So... Uh, we've got over the first hurdle, which was getting the toilet fixed. Uh, that was literally that when we moved in, my wife went to go get the keys from the owner. So no one had lived here, we think, for at least a year or maybe even two years. It's not uncommon for people to own apartments here and have them empty. Uh, a lot of people buy them a long time ago, and there is very little maintenance fees to pay to keep the apartment, even if there's nobody here. So we think maybe a year or more it wasn't lived in. And then when my wife went to just check a couple of things, when the guy gave the keys, the toilet didn't work, um, which we've kind of now sorted out. Of course, we had a plumber come literally that day, and then he couldn't come till the next morning with the parts because it was already past eight o'clock at night when he came and the shop was closed to get some replacement parts. 
so yeah, we had to replace all of the internal parts of the, I guess the toilet system. Uh, that's done. And then also, if you might have been in the last live stream, uh, a couple of people did put donations forward for us to fix the towel rail, which was also in the bathroom. So we realized that was dripping and leaking. So in Russia, there most almost everybody has what's called a heated towel rail. So from the hot water pipe coming into the apartment, there is a constant flow of hot water through this snaking pipe. Um, if you've seen what a towel rail looks like, the one we've got is a snaking one. And the hot water runs through it and it keeps it warm, of course. So you can dry things on there. It also keeps the, the, the bathroom warmer. So, yeah, thanks to whoever donated on that last live stream. I think actually Fireflux off, I think No Left Turns as well. I think yourself. And then, my gosh, now the person I did actually email, they did through Boosty. Um, and we put that towards getting that done. So basically we bought it literally the same day, the part that we needed. And then the plumber had to come back again. <laughs> and I did post on Telegram the photo of him. He wanted to, if anyone notices that photo on Telegram, he's got his arm there and he's got a Audi uh, car emblem on his arm tattooed. So yeah, thank you, No Left Turns, for the super chat. It's very, very nice of you. Uh, and whoever's clicking hearts, thank you so much as well. Um, what are your what will happen to the apartment when you leave for Australia? So for now, well, we don't really have the unofficial plan or plan would be that we would rent this place out um, and get on the plane. Uh, if anything was to ever happen here and we ever had to do that, literally at very short notice, we could just do that. We could literally just lock the door and leave it, or we could rent it out. Now, where we'd put our own personal possessions, I don't know yet, but we could do that. We, it, we It's very rentable, this apartment as it is. So definitely it's possible. Um, yeah, a lot of people leave apartments empty here. And when we moved out of the 13th level, we're on the same building and the same elevator. Um, literally, all four apartments on that 13th level are now empty. Uh, two of them were empty for ever and ever and ever. And then the one that was on the opposite side of us was they just moved out recently as well. <laughs> so there was nobody when we left that 13th level. We, I haven't actually seen a neighbor on our level nine either, either here yet. I'm sure they're here, but I haven't seen any. So Claudia, hello. Faith, hello. Constantine, Zarasvati. Claudio in Florida, in Miami, Florida. Hello. We are here and see you. Greetings from Moscow, Belaruskaya. Oh, Marina. I was at Belaruskaya last weekend for the tram parade or the parade of trams. I'm not sure if anyone's watched that video. Uh, I got together with Max and... Max's friend. I didn't I didn't know Max's friend at the time, so I can't remember his name now. It's a very well-known Russian name. Uh, but Maxim uh, was very gracious to give me a tour of the trams. He was amazing, by the way. So, Valentina, greetings from Moscow. Hello as well. Uh, I really need to come back to Belaruskaya and go to Depo and make a video at Depo because it's a really nice place to film and walk around and show everybody there and show the cars in the car park hello from belgium i think originally from hungary wow love belgian chocolates Gul uh, the gulain seashell chocolates uh with that glass water fire flux yes we do love it but now at the moment while my wife is in the other room sleeping she doesn't love it because obviously the light glows through those blocks so in the daytime obviously the light comes through into this bedroom and it's really nice. But in the evening, like when I've got my, my computer screens are basically here where obviously I'm where I'm looking, but the blocks are behind the screens, but the light bounces off the wall and back into the glass blocks. So they are really cool, but they're really not amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple of curtain rods and put a basic, like a curtain that we can draw and undraw. Uh, I did want to put some black plastic up, <laughs> but my wife shot that down very quickly, that idea. So, Central Illinois, hello. Oh, Plastic Russian, good to see you. I was very busy all day today. 
well, most of the day, because we went to the we went to Leroy Merlin, which is the very famous Russian hardware store that I've done a video on. And it's kind of like, you know, every guy's dream to go there. And my wife was not so happy to walk around and be dragged around it. Um, did you move into a new home? Yes, a new apartment. It's in the same building. It's now on level nine. We were on level 13 before. We were renting that place. Now we we don't technically fully own this place. The bank owns uh, a fair amount of it. Um, but thanks to adequate Xiaomi guy who was believing in my dream we are a little bit closer to owning it. Oh, my pixel, my life pixel. Hello, three fifteen in the afternoon. Yes, I was actually trying to watch the golf before I went live, and now the website that I normally use to watch the golf is not working tonight. So I'll have to figure out something else. I was trying to find the channel to watch the live stream of the Masters Golf. Uh, I want to come and live in Russia. I love your videos. When did you move? How can donate and what is the best way from green? Well, that's William, that's a lot of things. So um, the ways to donate uh, now, depending on how you've got things set up. So there is the option to do super chats directly on the stream. Super chats uh, and super stickers are while the stream is going on. If you're watching any video, any time of the day or night, you can also do super stickers, which is a donation below any video. Um, there is also two options that you can do almost instantly. One is called Donation Alerts. So there's a pinned comment. It's in the description of every video. Uh, and Donation Alerts, I see in a text box to be on this side because now I've got my screen flipped around. I've got a text box open where I can see. So my last donations were five days ago, eight days ago, uh, 11 days ago. So they were pretty much when I did live streams. Uh, donation Alerts. Uh, just to give you an idea of the way that works. So basically Donation Alerts and... The third one is Boosty. So donation alerts and Boosty are basically instant donations which come to the creator uh, set up through my bank account here in Russia. So but at your end of things, it doesn't matter where it's going to um, because it goes through whatever their payment system is. It's all completely safe and secure. Um, the Super Chats go into the AdSense revenue which gets paid out on the 25th of every next month which for me, it goes into my Australian bank account. Um, so yeah, if you want to use any of those, you're more than welcome to. I mean, I don't, I just mentioned they're all available because people have asked me forever, how can I do this? How can I do that? Um, when did I first come to Russia? It was about nine years ago. I say that in every live stream. It's probably more like 10 years ago. I originally came on a holiday here. My wife, who was basically not my wife at the time, I met her on a holiday while I was in Thailand and she was on holiday in Thailand and we met in a bar. It was all like great love story. And she invited me to come to Moscow. I had to go back to work. I was working on cruise ships at the time. So I flew back to America to work on the cruise ships. So, and then I came back to Australia, got my uh, tourist visa. It was, it was the first trip. And essentially I've never left. I still had to go to work a few times, but uh, yeah. Hello in Minnesota. Hello. Uh, I'm from the US, but have lived in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I saw the one apartment that you showed recently in the same, is the same place. Yes, I did the math. It's 10 US dollars. Yeah, so yeah, it is the same place. Uh, basically, I worked it out. Uh, if you look at what I put as the rent, which is what the rent would be for this place. So um, depending on, well, Anywhere between 20, 270 and 300 dollars a month would be the rent for this place. Probably be a little bit higher technically. Once we've done a couple of little things to it, we could definitely charge a little bit higher rent. Uh, places here get a uh, furnished when they're rented, so they tend to have a higher price than unfurnished because people just want to move in, like we did to this place. Uh, I've been watching your videos for a long time. Thank you, Evelyn. I love your content. Thank you so much. You're one of the OGs. OGs. And that's what they call people that were the first people that watch the channel. So, yeah. Thank you for 58 likes, by the way. That's super, super amazing of everybody who's doing likes on the video. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, six years living in Brazil. Wow. You had the World Cup there a few years ago as well, right? 
Um, yeah, so this is the same place as the last apartment. Pretty much we've lived in all of the apartment videos that I've put on the channel. Uh, I guess the exception would be the one in Ufa, which is my wife's cousin's place. And then the one in uh, Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan was my neighbor's place, which he doesn't live in that place anymore. Now he lives in another place. So I'm going to have to go visit him to make a new video there. Um, Anatoly, hello. Greetings from Moscow. Good evening. Yes. 11 Celsius. And a bit of a rain kind of afternoon rain showers came through. Now, if we would have just gone home from the hardware store, as we probably should have done, we wouldn't have got wet and drenched. But I had this crazy idea of catching the... There's a free bus that goes from the hardware store to the shopping center every 30 minutes. And I'm like, oh, it's another 10 minutes wait. We can get the free bus to the shopping center. We can go grab a couple of things at the supermarket and then get the bus home. We came out of the shopping center and it was belting down with rain exactly that time. And then by the time we got to our bus stop at home here, not a lick of rain. Uh, firefly. Oh, the two, is there two fireflies? Oh, from Nottingham. Hello. Is there two fireflies in the chat? That will be interesting if there is. Anatoly again. Hello. I like Australian English much more than American. It's clean and very common. Timur, thank you. I do tend to be a little bit more correct in my pronunciation of words so that it's easier for everyone to understand me. Uh, please excuse me if I'm not looking at the camera all the time. I do look down at the chat. So hopefully that's not too off-putting. Um, I need to... My, my glasses today are a little bit wiggly wonky. Um, hello from all from Russia. Mo everybody's in, there's a lot of people in Moscow today watching. George, hello. Dobro utra. Well, it's not really. Dobro utra. Oh, Dobro utra is good morning, isn't it? It's not good morning yet. Valentina, hello. What about St. Petersburg, engineer, Libyan? Hello there in St. Pete. Uh, so clearly and understandable. Thank you so much. Yes, that's amazing. To my last comment, I was very impressed with the apartment and location. Thank you, Travis. Yeah, it's, I mean, okay, we're not close to Moscow. We're 50 kilometers away from Moscow. Um, essentially, if I walk to the train station uh, with the new D4 line, we are the last stop on the D4. I can get to the center of Moscow in about, about an hour, I guess. Depends on how quick I get to the train station on the train. Um, now there was the, there's new, the new Moscow city stop now. They've wasn't it Testovskaya? And they changed the name of it now to Moscow City, the new station. Well, it's the old, it's the station that's been there all along. But they've just renamed it. You seem to enjoy moving often. Well, no, this we were in the other place for more than a year. It was about a year and a half. Uh, we did decide when we were in Australia back in, in October, November that that was our goal this year, was to find an apartment and move into it ultimately so uh yeah a happy cosmonauts day yeah i noticed that it was isn't, isn't it internet what does it say on google here international day of human space flight is what it's saying on google uh david hello how's it going at the hardware store today i should have took a few photos there was a lot of italian products although lero merlin is a french company they have a lot of european products in the hardware store and i saw a lot of italian flags should have took some more photos it's a good investment no matter what they say yes bricks and mortar right bricks and mortar are always a good investment even if the bank owns most of it and you're owing them a little bit are you leaving mother russia no i'm not no michael no last time i did that people left the channel people unsubscribed people oh my gosh it was like a, a firestorm when i that was march the year before i did an i left russia video because you know everyone did one of those at the time you know about a year and a half ago so i did an i left russia video <laughs> and then we were basically flying to bali uh we were there for we went to australia as well for my dad's birthday uh, palm springs california mary brun hello in palm springs daniel hello sasha Oh, yes, Sasha and Maxim. Thank you, Plastic Russian. Do you remember my profile, Daniil? Hmm, I can't see people's uh, channel icon when I put them up on the screen here because it blocks them in Russia. 
So, and there is a lot of Daniels. Daniel Medvedev, unless you're Daniel Medvedev, maybe. Hello in Estonia. Hello in Romania. Wow, Estonia, Romania. Greetings from Nakrasovka. Uh, Kevin, if you're in Nakrasovska, Kevin, my uh, wife's best friend lives there as well in Nakrasovska. She was there a couple of days ago. She, Her friend, we want to invite her here as a bit of a housewarming, but my wife ended up going over there because they've got a young baby. It's a little bit more challenging to come over here simply. It's about two hours away by public transport, a couple of metros. Um, but yeah, if that's the same place. If you're in Moscow, Nekrasovka, anyway, it could be another one. Greetings from Gibraltar. I've been to the uh, Morrisons in Gibraltar and had Sunday roast. Uh, how do you feel about this? Would you like to visit the cemetery? I'm not sure what I'd see there, apart from obviously a lot of gravestones. So I'm not sure what I'd see there. Now, yeah, if anyone wants to be part of my Telegram chat, David's posted the link there. Or if you've got face, uh, Telegram, traveling with Russell chat or channel, the chat's pretty much the most active. There's 788 people in the chat. Pretty much at any time, no matter day and night, there's about 100 or more people in there kind of active. So, yeah. Wow. Uh, greetings from Russia. Hello, Daniel again. King. Hello, King. Daibani? Daibani? Greetings from Rotterdam. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, 11 p.m. It's 10.30 here. I don't know where you got 11. Are you 30 minutes ahead of me? I just ordered from Black Star and came to watch you. Black Star Burgers. I've not had one of them for ages. Last time I had one of them was about, well, would have been it. About, it, was, it must have been last summer, was it? Or the year before? Well, I mean, more than a year ago. A friend from New Zealand was visiting, and he wanted to go there so bad to Black Star Burgers. And we weren't overly impressed with it as a I've been there a few years earlier with my wife and loved it. And then I'm and I'm telling him how great it was and we went and it wasn't as amazing as I remember it. You know how you've got that kind of you know you want it to be always the same when you go back to another restaurant or cafe. Um and it wasn't. But I still love burgers though. So uh Krylaskaya here. I'm not sure I don't know every area of Moscow. I know them just by my metro stations. Uh, I don't have Discord, no. I use Telegram, and that's pretty much it. Been following Martin's posts and tidying up the garbage. Garage. Garbage. <laughs> Maybe tidying up the garbage in the garage. <laughs> yeah, I saw Martin has a few things, and he was on a live stream earlier too, right? Uh, Sam is the madman. Yes, finally caught a live stream. I found a cheaper way to try some of the Russian snacks I want. We're stored just across the border in Germany, but have some of the wow. Yeah, in Australia, we went to a it was like a European delicatessen. We call them delis in Australia, delicatessen. And um they had Russian stuff there as well in Australia. Uh, I can't read Russian, so if you're posting anything in Russian, I can't read it. Uh we're informed from you know, so this is we have we have been well been not told the truth or been extended the uh you know given the uh the third news story there's always like the th three sides to every news story jordan pick five um, please don't leave russia it's your home yes michael definitely we're not going anywhere especially in the well you can't really say short and long term right right now we're not we're here uh Life with Lucia and Glenn. Hello. I think I know you from the vidIQ stream, I think. Uh, Andrea, hello. I'm not a long time no see. I didn't see you in the chat recently. Maybe you're in and out. Or I just miss it. So my bucket list. Yeah, I think a lot of people have like Moscow, St. Pete, and these places on their bucket lists. Um, yes. So we're not, this is Moscow region, not Moscow. Uh, Moscow region is basically the outer ring of Moscow. Uh, we are getting dragged closer and closer to Moscow by the mayor, though. Um, we're just past Vanukova Airport, if you kind of know where that is in the southwest of Moscow. So, yeah, we're not in Moscow. We're 50 kilometers away, so it's definitely the suburbs. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's just talk about the apartment for a second. I think I've kind of caught up. Have I caught up? 
That was an amazing story of you meeting your future wife. Yes. Yeah, I've kind of talked about it a couple of times. Probably I need to get my wife sitting next to me here for her to give her side of the story. Because, you know, we always have different uh, realities of the story, right? Greetings from Murmansk. Nelly, hello. I also you're a long-time watcher of the channel. Uh, been living in the U.S. all my life. Do you know Walk With Me? Tim, I don't know him, Daniel, but I know his channel, and I've definitely watched some of his videos. And I think he's got the same camera as I've got. Anyone notices now I'm wearing a DJI mic? Um, I bought a new camera back in Australia back in November. Well, October, November. And I was very scared to open it and start using it. And I finally did. Uh, yeah, World Cup was a long time ago. Uh, when did you quit? I've never smoked in my life. Never, ever, ever, ever. I used to sell them in abundances uh, when I worked in duty-free on the cruise ships. But I've never sold, smoked a cigarette. I've never touched one. I don't even like touching them. Uh, the whole carton sealed and in cases, yes. Uh, for two restaurants, did you... I left in the com comment recommendations for two restaurants. Did you check them? Uh, there's a lot of comments on YouTube that I barely get through. I do try to spend about an hour a day going through comments. Um, Pearl Harbor, Florida. That's not far from Miami, I don't think. Alex, isn't it? Howdy from Texas. Yes, Jen's in the other room. She's actually sleeping. She's probably awake now because I did tell her I was going to go live and really enjoy your channel. Thank you, Paul. Uh, hi, I'm the Fire Flux. Yeah, so, and I know somebody, uh, Fire also did donation alerts uh, five days ago. And I did post the photo of the new um, towel rail. It's a heated towel rail, which we needed. We had to shut off straight away because it was leaking. And then uh, the guy came and basically drained it out. Um, and it's now gone. Or it went straight in the bin, literally, because it wasn't even really fixable or someone couldn't repair it because it was stainless steel. It was too much of a problem to do that. So... Uh, Daniel's 12 and I'm still in class one. Oh, okay. Maybe you're from a, are you from a Prelifka maybe? I met a lots of school kids at the local school uh, going back last year. So, and they're at home in Germany, in Greece. It's like 80. Yeah, we are super duper wealthy here in Germany. Yeah, I guess, I mean, if I look at, I, I wouldn't know what the percentage would be in Russia, but I, I know a lot of people, you know, probably a lot more people own apartments or houses than what we all realize. And this is what gets a bit misunderstood with my, you know, apartment tour videos. And people think, oh, how can the average Russian afford that? But, you know, where someone might have bought this apartment when this building wasn't even built, going back 12 years ago, and they can buy it off plan before the building's finished, they can get it considerably cheaper. Um, and then at some point they sell it, they can keep trading up, you know. Uh, thank you. Watching from the UK. Uh, yes, so basically a fogged up. So this is from today. Um, they're not as they're probably not as dirty as they look. If that makes sense, and they are a bit wonky today. I think. I think I've done something to them. Yeah, so basically, from getting absolutely drenched in the rain, they haven't cleaned properly. <laughs> so they are, and I am also looking down a little because I've, I've got my seat at a different height to my uh, camera today. Uh, so they're they're okay. They just need a proper. I've got my cloth now, my fancy cloth to clean them with. Uh, Dobra utra, or oh, Dobra vecha. Thank you, King. Dobra vecha is a good evening. Spirit wolf, hello in Moscow. Spirit wolf, how's life in Russia? Russia's good. Have you tried lenses? Uh, contact lenses, never. No, I didn't really even like wearing glasses. Must climb the bridge. We are watching from Moscow. Oh, thank you. Lots of people in Moscow today. Even with that later time frame, people in Moscow are watching. Uh, eight hours difference. Yes, in Vladivostok. Big time difference. Max, I think it's Maxime. Hello. Dublin. Hello. Love watching your channel. Thank you so much. Oh, my dad is here. <laughs> What are you doing watching so early in the morning or so late? 
Dad here from Baldivus. Yes, this is where my parents live in Australia. Plastic Russian, my dad, Anthony, by the way. Uh, I think he might be now watching your channel, I think, because he watched Sam's video about the YouTubers to watch. Moscow, Moscow Univ oh, Universitet, I think, is where you live, right? Moscow University Metro Station. Universitet, yeah, red line. So, yeah, I, I get off in Salarevo, so I catch it a bit further south and come home on the bus, uh, which we did today. Hello in Argentina. Tumin, Zdravstvati. 11 or well, 12 30 there oh in st petersburg i love it when everyone puts all these places going there in may i can't wait to estonia wow that'll be cool hello <laughs> hello from Calif san francisco whoa northern california sent it's, it's san francisco i guess that's still northern california as well right and we stand with thank you Nebraska, Ottawa, wow, Phoenix, Arizona, that's crazy, all the different American places all in a row there, greetings from Kamchatka, oh, Zaraswati, from Kamchatka, hello, Mr. Crab, uh, how far uh, how far are you away from the flooding, I saw the young couple from England who now live in Russia, they lost everything, yes, um, I don't know what the distance is, let me Google it, it's not where I am, that's for sure. Yeah, that's uh, Martin and his wife. Uh, he has the channel Russian Travels. Um, Moscow to Orenburg. Distance. Um, so it's 1,500 kilometers, I guess, southeast of Moscow. 19 hours by car. Yeah, it's not absolutely close at all to Moscow. I mean, Russia is a huge place, right? Yeah, very sad what's happening with the people in Orenburg. Um, and Martin's basically his uh, housing district where he lives, or micro district. And the water is almost to the roof or to the uh, roof line, or the what do you call that? The pitch of the roof. And then the water is just, it's not going down. It's still not receding. So he's safe. He's now, I, th I believe he's at his, I guess, his wife's parents' place. And I think his sister's there as well. They live also in the same area. Yeah, very crazy. Yeah, he set up, he's watched on a few, he did a live stream yesterday. And then I know Sam's Russian Adventure Channel also set up a GoFundMe for them because they're going to need a lot of help. Huge global audience, yes. Have I ever contacted the Australian Embassy? I have, yeah. I've been there a couple of times for documents uh, when I was getting my Russian residency. I needed to get a, a document to say I was never married in Australia. They need like a proof that you were never married. Oh, I think I needed I need that for my... Yeah, I did need that for my... I think we also used it for when we got married as well. <laughs> uh, Pocket 3, yes, looks amazing. Yeah, that's in the probably in the last, I guess, 10 videos. I don't have it exactly with me right here because it was in my bag. I took it with me today, but I didn't use it. So I don't have it to show it to you in my hand. Um, yeah, I can call the embassy as well from here. I guess I just called the Moscow number and they do pick up. Um, you can go there if you need to. You know, you have to make an appointment to go there, you know, on a scheduled time. Uh, what was your most fear? Hmm, don't have a lot of fears. I can't watch the golf tonight. That's a bit of a fear because I was hoping to watch the second round of the Masters after this live stream. Well, thank you. Yeah, Orenburg is 1,500 kilometers from Moscow, and Russell is like, yeah, I'm basically southwest of Moscow, and then I guess you'd have to drive southeast a fair distance to get there. Thank you. Um, oh, there's everything everywhere. Yes, everyone from everywhere. Dublin, absolutely. People from everywhere. Oh, they don't keep quality consistency. Chernogolovka. Oh, I've got Chernogolovka right here. I actually bought this to drink on the bus on the way home. And the bus was so crowded, <laughs> I had, didn't get a seat. And I was standing squashed like a sardine because everyone was hustling to get in the bus because it was pouring down with rain and they didn't want to wait for the next one. So, yeah, I've got Chernogolov. This is the new label too, or the new, the new logo, I guess. I don't know. Chernogolov Cola. So, yeah, I drank that when I got home. I normally buy one for the bus on the way home. I didn't get a chance. Greetings from Germany. Irene, hello. Um, oh, 
What's your favorite potato chip flavor? Uh, I like the uh, spare rib flavor, the Lay's spare rib flavor. And we, my wife and I both love this, uh, like a cheese, Lay's cheese flavor. And I tend to eat them before she gets a chance to eat them. So yeah, let's just talk about the apartment for a second. So we do have a long list of things we need to do or would like to do, I guess, right? Everyone moves in and has this big, I'm going to do this, I'm going to change that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to rip down walls. Okay, we're not quite going to do that, but uh, the next thing we need to do as an urgent thing is to get new curtains or get curtains in the lounge room. We're now west-facing, so we get the uh, afternoon and evening sun beaming through these windows, and it only had like a net curtains up, so we need to get like blackout curtains so that's the immediate next thing we need to do. Um, we would really like to get a different shower head. <laughs> that's a really tiny thing. Um, but when we went today to the hardware store, there was about 7,000 to choose from. And we couldn't still choose. <laughs> so, And my wife is a bit shocked, like, why I don't just make decisions. And I'm always, like, torn between what I need to do. So, yeah, so basically, if anybody does do... Uh, Super chats, donation alerts, boosties, all these things. Essentially, it's my fix the apartment uh, fund, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, the, 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 the crazy, uh, what was it called? My crazy idea thing is still relevant, but uh, it's a little bit different now. So uh, we just, we put a very long list together of things that need to be done. But obviously, a lot of things that are not necessary, you know, you know, like for instance, uh, there's a trim piece missing off the uh, where these glass blocks are. I guess it'd be, oh, it's not here. Which way is the, is it that one there? No, it's the one that's pointing to the other side. That's missing. Um, we've just re re discovered that the door panel to the bedroom, let me see if I can swing the camera around. Am I going the right way? Can anybody see that? The door panel. So there was a mirror here, which fell off. <laughs> Basically, we closed the door and it fell off. Um, and then the reason they put a glass mirror there was to hide. This is hard to point because of the way the camera is. Uh, they were putting, they, they glued a mirror there to hide the broken pane of glass in this wood frame of the door. And you can't replace that frame. You can't replace the glass in the door. And I think whoever was living here maybe a year or two ago just put glued a mirror up there on both sides. And we only realized that. So now we need to replace the door um, or stick another mirror up there. Because <laughs> I thought when the mirror fell off, we thought that the window broke in the door, but it didn't. It had already been broken. So yeah, another thing on the list. Let me put my camera back on me now. The other way. Let's go this way. Um, oh, there we go. Swing it back around. So, yeah, that's kind of on the list as well. It wasn't expected to be on the list of things to do. <laughs> but, yeah, first the curtain. So what we need to do is we need to get curtain tracks made, well, put up there, and then buy the blackout curtains because the sun is just too much, especially in the afternoon, especially now in coming towards summer, spring, summer. Now it gets dark at seven o'clock and then it will get eight o'clock and nine o'clock at night. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of the next priority thing to do. But we went, when we looked at the hardware store today, it's a little bit awkward to do your own curtain tracks. I have just an Ikea toolkit, by the way. So everything I'd love to do, um, I can't just with an IT, IKEA toolkit. Um, do why do you prefer Kuznetochka uh, over Burger King? Uh, Kuznetochka is the Russian rebranded McDonald's, tasty, and that is all. Uh, or tasty dot, tasty and dot. Um, yeah, I just prefer. Uh, well, I, really, I like both. Um, I. Don't tend to have Burger King too often. The only takeaway interesting we've got in our town is KFC and Burger King. And I'll still choose KFC all the time over Burger King. 
Uh, Cousin Chacho, I just like a Big Mac meal. Just that's all I get. Classic Big Mac meal. Sit down. Uh, I don't get it all that often. I tend to really get it more just when I make a video, believe it or not. Yes, great. Walk With Me Tim is a great channel. Yes, I know it very well. He goes to a lot of hotel tours. Uh, and he does a lot of like uh, English holiday kind of resort tours as well. Uh, what's your next adventure? Um, well, the next video on the channel will be a food expo that I went to recently. That should be on the channel tomorrow. Um, in terms of going somewhere different in Moscow, I need to go. I, actually, someone just caught when I swung the camera around. That's my press pass to go to the Russia Expo at Vedenha. Now, you can just walk in there. It's completely free and open to public. But I got the press pass just to make it easier for filming. So I'm watching from Southeast England. Judith, hello. My parents or my father, if he's still watching, is from Leeds Bradford, West Yorkshire originally. So if anyone's typing in Russian, I can't read it. Uh, I have an occasional beer, Rom, and that's generally only when we're around at friends' places. And that's it. We have an alcohol beer shop, wine wine shop in our building, and I don't go and just buy a couple of beers like everyone does every night. Uh, quite fancy the DJI. Yes, it is very cool. Yeah, I I had it since October. We brought it back to Russia. And only when I flew over to Tashkent to go to the football, I opened it. My wife forced me to open it uh, because it was sitting there for four or five months that I didn't open the box. Uh, I was a bit afraid to open it and, you know, use it. And then, you know, people think that I just have a new fancy camera, right? Um, it is a very cool camera to use and very easy and a lot easier than my setup of my phone that I use. Uh, hello from South Africa. You need to have Biltang. Yes. I miss Biltang to snack on while doing your live feeds. That would be nice. Or some Mrs. Ball's chutney to put on a burger. Or some Butterworth Simba chips. What else? Some, um, what's the, uh, the canned drink? Oh my gosh. Very famous can drink in South Africa as well. Hello from Seattle. Thank you. Oh, who is what's the name of your name here? Someone has just done it. donation alerts. Thank you so much. Giraffe Nest. Hey man, Eve ever been to Mongolia? Beautiful this time of year. Each to re easy to reach. Final stop of the MCD4. Oh, that's well, that's where I live in Aprilovka, is the last stop of the MCD4. I've never been to Mongolia, no. I've been to um, Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. That's where my neighbor from this building now is living. Um, but I've not been to Mongolia, no. I've seen videos of there. It looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. yeah, beautiful time of the year. It is. Yeah, apart from today when it was belting down with rain, and we just didn't realize it was going to rain, so we didn't have the right shoes on. We didn't have the right jacket on. <laughs> so... Uh, thank you for the donation alerts. Uh, basically, that'll be the curtain fund, the curtain track fund. <laughs> Glad you got into your own place. When I bought my first place, I was overjoyed. Now I am my third place. I bought Love Your Channel. Thank you, William. Yes, it is very nice. Yeah, and it's just nice to know that, you know, whatever happens now, it's all on us. So obviously, we inherited a little bit of things that need fixing. But um, yes, it's nice. It is nice to be here. And this is, so anything that's right or wrong now is our fault. We can't just blame someone else. You know, if we don't like the color of the walls now, we could change them. Whereas when we were renting, you know, that's what was there when we moved in, right? So uh, do you know Russian maybe, or are you Russian? Uh, I'm from Australia, from Perth, Australia. Chuchut uh, Poroski. Yeti Pinyamaya. I do understand some Russian though. Uh, Russell, people wonder in Russian, why are you living in Russia while it's much better in Australia? Well, I need to ask my wife. I mean, she wanted to come back to Russia, so I followed her back here. Um, yeah, I'm completely comfortable here. I worked on cruise ships for a long, lot of years, traveled around on cruise ships on a weekly basis, you know, in and out of ports. So moving to somewhere new and different wasn't difficult for me. Uh, that's probably the best thing I'd explain. Um, I mean, there's a lot of positives and negatives to living in both countries. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, 
not everywhere is amazing and beautiful and beer and roses, as they say. Uh, thank you. Small hose housewarming. Oh, yes. Housewarming donation. That's what I should have. We need to do for a live stream. I, I, that's what I'll get my wife if I can convince her to sit next to me and do a live stream. It will be a housewarming live stream. Yes. And well, we, we didn't do that. I didn't carry her over the, the door threshold coming in. Thank you so much, El Fuego, for the super chat. Uh, yeah, Giraffe Nest, thank you for donation alerts. So basically, donation alerts we'll get tomorrow morning. Well, no, about three in the morning it comes uh, on my card, and then pretty much everything goes to my wife's card because she's the uh, the money lady. She's the one that deals with everything and figures out everything. And been, been oh my gosh. I could never get your name right. Binzamujurilshul. Thank you for CHFs. Thank you. That's amazing of people who are doing this, by the way. Thank you very much. Yes, these curtains. So yeah, we're gonna get um uh we at the there's a house fix it shop a uh, building or oh, building. Uh if anyone lives in Russia, you'll understand, right? These uh, homeware uh Rinux. So instead of a food rinnock or a food market, it's a home renovation market. And there's a little place that does curtains in there. And the lady's going to come around. And because it's in a bay window, we want the one that's going to bend around and have like a like – hide the kind of tracks. And it's going to have two tracks. So one will be cut, the net curtains, like the white ones. And then the one track will be the dark blackout curtains. So that's the plan. So thank you. Um, much love and respect, my brother. Keep up the excep exceptional content. Monsieur Mike, you're also one of the original viewers of the channel as well. Thank you. Look at the nose piece. They are the bits that are. Yes. It's, I think today when I was on the bus, I think I knocked them when we were a little bit close quarters with everybody on the bus. And I think that's what knocked them out a little bit. Mr. Jamo, hello. Uh, oh, you were living in the UK for 11 years. Now I moved to Russia, so I'm learning. Daniel, wow. 11 years in the UK. That's a long time. Benedict, hello. Good evening. Do you plan to study Russian or do you know you leave for Russia anytime? Living in the country, not speaking the native language, must be it. it it's not as difficult, in, in, especially in Moscow. A lot more people speak English. Probably not as many as I think speak English, but I can get by, uh, be, you know, with my minimal Russian when I have to. Um, and I'm getting a little bit better at it each time. I mean, the more that people force Russian on me, the more I can understand and reply back. Um. Hey, Russell's dad. Yes, he is here. Well, he might not be here. Uh, he's a little bit like you, Plastic Russian, where he'd prefer to do a video call or a rather than doing chatting and typing. So how many years are you living there in Russia? And do you love it? Well, it's hard to say I love somewhere because then people think I don't like Australia. Or if I say I love Russia, then people are going to say, you know, or you, you love that you don't like this. You don't, you know, I'm very, you know, uh, very, uh, uh, in between everything. Uh, originally, we ca I came here close to 10 years ago, the very first time. And then I've been here on and off ever since. Pretty much the last lot of years, though, all the time. So, been binge watching. Thank you. Yeah, probably my older videos are not as good as the newer videos. <laughs> NYC here. Seattle. Michigan. And Vladimir. Benedict. Greetings from Vladimir. Sam's Russian Adventures channel is also from Vladimir. Maybe you know him or you've seen him filming somewhere. Of uh, The belief to politics Estonia is like evil these days. Part of my French. I'm not oblivious to politics. I know it goes on. We've got politics in Australia as well. Politicians. If you could show us a few local fast food places and try out the food. I should try and do that. Um, I should try and do that. Yes. Actually, I had a shawma today, shawma, um, at, the, at the supermarket restaurant in Globus Hypermarket. I'm sure you've known I've got lots of Globus videos on the channel. 
And I was going to have my usual spaghetti bolognese, but then they've got now a shawarma place with guys making shawarmas, right? Obviously. And I had one of them and it was amazing. And actually it's the second time I've had one. So they recognize me. Um, they gave me a frequent shawarma buying card now. So after eight or nine of them, you get like a free one. <laughs> and he gave me extra meat, which made it like this huge shawarma, much bigger than normal one. So uh, love Russian, love travel vlogs. Yes, Russian travels. And then also the plastic Russian. He's in the chat. He's a British guy living in Russia also. And he's got some videos. He's a new channel as well. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Who's Vlad Vladislav from Montreal, Canada? Montreal. I wonder if you know a bit a little bit of French, Vladislav. Well, it's French Canadian there. It's not French, right? French Canadian. They're very people in the French French Canadia, the French Canadian part of Canada are very well. I would say they're almost very different from the people in the rest of Canada. And if you'd go there and you don't know French, they don't really want to really help you all that much. I've been there on cruise ships to Quebec. And maybe I'm just, it was just my opinion of when I was there that, you know, they weren't as receptive to tourists as I, as I hoped or I thought. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Um, so she's big in Russia. Yes, it's. Big in Moscow as well. Pretty much all all takeaway places have sushi. Yes. A few people riding in Russian here. Hopefully it's nice things. Natalia, you're too lazy to write in English. So I and so I live in Europe. <laughs> I can do Google Translate. Thank you, Natalia. You're too lazy to write in English. That's no worries at all. Hopefully everyone else. You what? Jewish community. I'm not too sure about Jewish community. Uh, is Russia better or worse than 10 years ago? Well, I guess if you if if you're like me and you miss Kit Kats, then it's worse because Kit Kats are no longer in Russia. Maltesers aren't in Russia, which is a, a, a malt ball chocolate. So yeah, I mean, I guess a lot of people who are a little bit more brand conscious of things and they go to the supermarket, they go to the shopping malls, you know, you see my videos and all the brands aren't here, you know, the recognizable Western brands, then you could say it's not a good thing, right? And then there's a lot of people who really have lived much longer life than I have and remember Soviet times and when, you know, the USSR and you know, things like that, you know, was well before I was ever here. You know, and um, some people will say that they prefer those times because it was a simpler life. It wasn't as complicated. There wasn't as many things going on. I'd say that was a better time. You know, I um, mean, you could say that, you know, the quality of the public transports got better. You know, the uh, some of the government services have got better. You know, the fact that you can get on your phone and use apps to do things for the government services. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess everyone's going to have an opinion of, is it better now than 10 years ago? Um, I mean, the bus to and from a prelifka hasn't changed. <laughs> that's one thing that hasn't changed. So that's not got better. We were still squashed on the way home today on the bus. Um, uh, Michael, no one's going to stop you if you speak English and look, how do you look American? If you're going to wear your American t-shirts with American flags and American patches on your backpack, then <laughs> you're going to look American. Uh, honestly, in winter, or if you were here in winter, for instance, you're wearing dark pants, dark jacket, beanie, you look like everybody else. I mean, you can definitely tell a tourist than a local. You can definitely tell a Moscovite than somebody that's maybe from the CIS countries. That's definitely noticeable. Um, but no one's going to stop you in Moscow, no, if you speak English. Uh, not at all. Uh, no Kit Kats, yes. I, I'm not a big Twix fan. Uh, I'd rather have a Bounty. I don't have a Bounty wrapper. I, I, I bought a Bounty at the supermarket, but I'm not. A, it's in the cupboard. I have like a little, in the kitchen now, I've got one shelf. To, that's my uh, snack shelf, I call it. So... Yeah. 
Are you getting a grand? Are we getting a grand tour of the apartment? Nick, you can watch the, if you watch about three or four videos ago, there's the Russian typical low cost apartment tour. And that's this place. Because I really talked about it from the point of view of it being a rental, not necessarily about it being as a apartment for sale that we bought. Well, the bank bought it. And a lot of subscribers like you guys helped me as well. Um, with my crazy dream or crazy idea of buying an apartment. So, um, yeah, if you want to watch that video from, it's about four or five videos ago, if you just go to the newest ones on the channel, and I think I've got like $300 and then an arrow pointing to it. So I basically, based on the video of doing, you know, it as a rental place. Thank you for, thank you, John Williams. Thank you so much. Greetings from Munich. Hello. I wish you good luck in your new apartment. Thank you, John. Yes, we are very happy to be moved in. Probably my room here is not, well, my room with my computer in here is not as tight as it could be. We did actually have a, if you watch the video when I did the empty apartment walk around, there was some cupboards here, which are now in the kitchen as an extension of the kitchen. So um, I don't have anywhere to put anything in cupboards. I can put stuff in the wardrobe, which I have done already, but we still have things a little bit piled up. Back here, the, the fan, I don't know where to put yet. Uh, thank you, Claudio, for the super sticker. Thank you. Claudio C, thank you so much. I'm sorry I can't show your name when I click it up here, but it's definitely coming in the live stream. But then when I click it over here, it YouTube and Russia don't tend to agree on things, so it basically doesn't show your channel icon. So that's a bit of a shame. but. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, this, I guess, should we really have like a, like each time we do a video, should we do a different apartment theme for the videos? Um, Russia will be much healthier without Western products. I won't say the last word you type there, but yeah, I mean, there's always that kind of joke that went around a couple of years ago when you know, McDonald's left and everyone's going to get skinny now, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just funny at the time when I saw that. Uh, did you buy the apartment or do you? No, we now we bought this place. This is the place that we've bought uh, in conjunction with the bank, in conjunction with a lot of subscribers and people who did donation alerts, super stickers. What's the other one called? Boosty. I'm not into Boosty yet. I, I understand how it works, and it works brilliantly, Boosty. I'm just not a person that tells everyone to use it and do it. So, But it does work beautifully well in terms of helping content creators. So, yes, this is definitely – we're no more renting anymore. We're not – We actually, when we moved out, we obviously got our deposit back at the other place. Actually, we got a little bit more money back because in Russia, they give you back the days that you over-rented for. Uh, so if you move out earlier than the end of the month, he gave us like days, um, what's the word where they give it to you in, uh, prorated. And then we just paid the water and electricity to catch up on the month. So yeah, that's actually now going forward for the mortgage payment for this month. So no worries. Uh, Malinki Paruski Aroma. My Azavut Russell, Kaksavut Aroma. Uh, greetings from Munich. Thank you, Chester. Hello in Munich, Germany. Speaking the truth, you give me great insight for my next adventure. Thank you, Michael. I mean, I'm just showing simple things in simple places. Uh, I probably could have done another hardware store video today, but it's in the same one that I previously made one. Leroy Merlin or Russian typical hardware store video. Yeah, there's bounty here, definitely. Yes, in Dixie. Why don't you try out Russian brand chocolate bars? I, well, it's not exactly Russian because this is Mondelez, but I eat Alpine Gold, so I don't eat. I used to have um, Milka a lot, but Milka price went crazy price up. So now I have. Uh, actually, it's interesting that Alpine Gold, although it's well it's considered a Russian candy bar. It's not produced in Russia. Mondelez, you can see it right there. 762. 
Is the country 460? If you see any 460s on barcodes, you know it's Russian. So you can see 460, well, right there, which is on the Chernogolovka. Um, yes, bounty definitely you can get, and the bounties I think, I don't know if they're made and produced in Russia. It's Kit Kat, Kit Kat is what I need. What do you think about Russian football? I have been to a few games. I want to go to see Dinamo play again. Um, I think there's a game next week. Yeah, the Russian league's on at the moment. Dinamo Moscow. Yes. Actually, I didn't even read that. And then it's on the next line. Um, Dennis, I can get all of these channels through uh, streaming with a VPN on. Through my computer streaming. And if I really wanted to, I could take my computer into the other room and plug it into the TV and then stream it to the television. Uh, you can't get them as free-to-air channels in Russia. But I can definitely get them online through, I guess, uh, websites. Uh, actually, I was watching ESPN right before the live stream. They to watch the golf preview of their, uh, they do basically the, the afternoon session of the golf of the Masters. So I was watching the ESPN feed before the live stream. So Fox News and things like that I don't watch. CNN occasionally. So I remember a streamer by the name of Dima from Russia, I believe, got slapped. No, that wasn't Dima from Russia. That was, uh, um, what was his name? Uh, Nick, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, Dima, I, Dima, I know Dima. He's from St. Petersburg. He was doing videos. He also went to Georgia, came back again. Um, it was another guy that was doing a walking live stream through St. Petersburg, and a guy, well, I guess slapped him, I guess, while he was doing it. Um, someone will tell me his name. <laughs> Nick, uh, uh, Nicky Proshin. Nicky Proshin. Now he's, uh, where is he now? I think he's in Georgia again, right? Back in Georgia. He was in Asia. He did stuff in Thailand, in Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos. He was going all over the place. Please never stop. Great content and a great guy. Thank you, Chester. Thank you so much. Do you get channels from the US? I like your show. Yes. Well, I can watch streaming of TV channels. So I was wanting to watch, if anyone's from England, I watched the darts. Darts last night at the uh, Premier League darts. And Luke Little are lost in the final. So that's okay, though. Uh, I live in the southwest of Moscow in Narofominsk region in a place called Aprilivka. It's the last station on the red uh, on the D4 train line, the new D4 train line. Uh, show Russell support and hit the like button. Yes, if you'd like to do that. We've got 172 thumbs up. Well, they call them likes, but I, I call them thumbs ups. I've uh, been visiting for a week, leaving tomorrow, moving back in June. At least it waited to rain until tonight. Yes. Yeah. I, when we went out, I saw the clouds. I didn't even look at the weather forecast today because I didn't, I just didn't check it, right? Literally. So I went out. I was going to wear shorts today. I mean, my wife was like, ah, oh, you see, glad you didn't put your shorts on. Uh, <laughs> so, but we got wet, let's say. Um, yeah. And then it, it, if you go on uh, Yandex Maps, or Yandex browser, there's a really good app where you can see the rain clouds kind of, you know, literally by the minute. Um, you and your wife should do some restaurant reviews. Be interested to see some of the restaurants in Moscow. Yeah, she doesn't like being on camera, Nick. I'm struggling to get her to come and sit next to me here and do a live stream with you guys because people love seeing her and chatting with her and posting things. And people seem to love her more than me sometimes. Hello, Zraspati. Otviet Torogologa. Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful. Hello. Um, perhaps Alpine Gold is produced in Russia, but it's unlikely to contain much chocolate. It's very tasty. I like it. I don't know what the percentage of chocolate is. There's a lot of different languages to read because the Mondelez like to do all these foreign languages on the wrappers. 762... Let me look. Google. Uh, bar code by region. Let's have a look where 762 is. 
Seven six two is Switzerland and Liechtenstein. It's seven sixty to seven six nine. The barcode. So it's a Swiss Mondelez imported chocolate, which I didn't fully realize that, but that's okay. Uh, his name is Nicky Proshan. Yes, he was the one. I remember watching that live stream actually. Six pounds of Russian and Ukrainian candy from a vendor on Amazon. When it arrived, the bag had been ripped open and all the Russian candy... What? Replaced equivalent amount of... All the Russian candy was removed. That's crazy if that happened, Vance. Crazy, crazy. How would they even have time to pick through it and do that? Thank you, Tony. Tony Stewart. Maybe you're the car driver from NASCAR. Retired now, of course. In Michigan. I've been to Great Lakes Crossing Shopping Mall. That's pretty much the only thing I remember when I went there. Moderators are doing a great job. Thank you. Yeah, I think perhaps Vitali might be here. I really should give more people moderating skills or abilities. And what do Russians think about Americans? I think they don't really have too much of an opinion. People here don't really have opinions about things. Unless you're genuinely talking to someone and you are both completely open about the conversation and talking about everything under the sun, right? Um, people don't really form opinions about things as much as other people do. And people just tend to live their life and do their thing and stay in their lane. And that's it. You know, they're not watching the news and, oh my gosh, this is going on. Oh my gosh, that is going on. Oh my gosh, there's a cat stuck up in a tree somewhere. And it's not as much of a thing, you know, even, even, I mean, for me, right, I'm, I like sport. So if I can't think of anything to make a conversation about, I talk about sport. And you can ask everybody, right? What's your favorite football team? Do you like football? Do you like ice hockey? Especially Russian sports, right? And they're like, no, I don't like sport. I'm like, how can a guy not like sport? And they don't. <laughs> and it's just, that's the way it is. And they don't have an opinion about it. And that's it, you know. So Plastic Russian got sunburned. So yeah, if anyone wants to watch the Plastic Russian's channel, he shows he's sw he's got a swimming pool in Russia in his back garden. It's such a dramatic uh, opposite of what you think Russia is like when he films his back garden. <laughs> Skilled, hello. Uh, I would. Oh, am I reading the right same things? Keep up the amazing content. Cheers from Texas. Fuzzed, thank you. Fuzzed. Thank you so much. And Giraffe Nest, I guess I copy, I guess I Google translated that. Thank you again for the donation alerts when you did it earlier. I like this donation alerts option uh, because it's an, another tab on my screen and people can put a comment there. And you can also, a lot of people put anonymous too though as well, but it's just fine. It's not a Swiss brand. Well, that's fair enough. I'm just showing, I mean, I, because I ate this earlier, I don't have the, the packaging folded right. But I'm going to fold it like that just because of the wrapper. and It's not really hiding anything, right? But Mondelez right there. Now, a lot of things that are maybe with imported pr uh, ingredients can still be produced in Russia. Like you'll see a lot of coffee that's packaged and produced in Russia, but it's imported coffee beans. So you'll see a lot of coffee beans with 460 on there, or coffee generally, but it's not made in Russia, right? I mean, the fact they've just imported the beans, repackaged it into jars or packets. But Mondelez and 762. Now, that's the thing, right? I mean, it's... You kind of, I mean, I never paid as much attention to barcodes until I came to Russia. So, Vitaly is here. Yes. I know you're always in the background. So you are here. Uh, is there crime? No, Michael, there's no, well, none that I know of. The police station's down the road. You see the police driving around, you know. Um, police station's on the main road when you go towards the train station. They've always got their cars parked up. And you see them at the events, like when I went to the, uh, Maslanitsa event, City Day events. Um, I don't believe there's any crime, but I'm sure there is. They've got to be doing something, right? 
Um, but I could walk around at night, you know, I could walk around my neighborhood, not a problem. What's your favorite place in Moscow? What would you recommend to see? Except the main site says Red Square. Have you been to the Russian exhibition? Look at that. I've got my ID to go to the exhibition. And I've got zero, one, and three status, which is really most things you need. I don't have the four, which is a VIP, though. I don't know what that does. But yes, I've been there a couple of times. I was there last week to do some filming because I was on local Russian television. So they brought me there to add a little bit of content to the video. So, and then actually when I left them, I went in the train. There was a, a there was a, two train cars there. And then there was the Russian railways had a, a exhibition and you get a tour of the new models of trains, particularly the overnight trains with the, with the sleeper cars in them. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like Vedenha. And then there is also, you can go up to the top of a stunk and a tower there as well. Uh, Gorky Park, I like walking there. I've not walked there in winter. Well, I've walked there in a long time at the moment, but I need to get back there, just go for a wander. Um, in Red Square, you can always walk around there because there's a lot of things you can do within a few kilometers of that center area. So you can go all the way up to Sveskaya Street, up to Pushkin Square. Um, you know, you can walk back over the Moscow River, actually towards uh, Gorky Park, that direction. Um, I'm swimming in it tomorrow. Gosh. Your home is owned by Putin. How would you even say that? Unless it's government-owned buildings. How about Food City? I know Food City very well. Actually, the one thing I keep thinking about about Food City is to go there and have lamb chops because there's a couple of very nice cafes in there that do very nice lamb chops, exactly like my mum makes them. I know mean, that's hard to say, but when I have lamb chops at Food City, so if anyone doesn't know who's not from Moscow or Russia, it's the biggest food market in Russia where about 30% of all Russia's food is brought through. And it's a wholesale retail food market, which is just an insane place to see and walk through. Uh, I used to like the NFL football until it got taken over. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess a lot of things have changed in sport as well. Uh, do you like Chick fil A and Starbucks? Well, Star's Coffee is now in Russia. Starbucks isn't. Chick-fil-A was... I don't think that was ever in Russia, was it? I don't think... Maybe it was. I don't remember it is. Uh, what do I miss about Australia? Red Rooster, Nick. And Chicken Treat. And... Basically, just driving in my Hyundai Gets. And going somewhere. And my parents, of course. My mum's Sunday Roast, which you'll do every day of the week. Trifle. Anyone's English? My mum makes a good trifle. Peter, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you so much. You're very amazing. Peter, you're amazing. Peter, Claudio, Vladislav, Binza, Milja, Junjushul, El Fuego, no left turns. You're all amazing. And then Giraffe Nest, which I wonder what that was in Russian. I wouldn't even be able to pronounce it back again. Uh, that's for super for donation alerts. Amazing. The curtains are one step closer. I think uh, if anyone remembers very, way back when, way back, way back when, we did the uh, microwave live stream because the old apartment we didn't have an, a microwave. Literally, we didn't. We didn't actually. We had a hot plate, and that was about it. <laughs> and we didn't even have. A microwave. Now, this place has a microwave that was here when we moved in, but it's not particularly good. It's a very old, it's borderline throw it away microwave, but it does work. And that's why we've kind of kept on hold of it. And we did the microwave live stream. <laughs> uh, safest country I've ever been in. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, I, I agree with a lot of things that Plastic Russian says. Obviously, we know each other offline and chat as well i guess until people come here and a lot of people who live in russia will have a lot of the same sentiments that we do have 
Um, but I think a lot of people need to come here to at least experience it and feel it and understand it. Uh, I've never seen anyone use drugs on the streets or yes, not at all. <laughs> no, never been offered it. Been offered it in many countries I've traveled to, especially working on cruise ships in the Caribbean. On the focus of your interests. That's very true. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things depending on what you want to see food wise, architecture wise, things like that. Um, We're getting ahead of the chat. What's going on? Those who aren't here do not understand what he is saying. Maybe it doesn't have any problems. Okay, Vladimir, I'm not sure I understand. I've copied, Google translated it. What you've written there. Uh, is it hard to get a driver's license there? I've not um, gone through the process of it. I know they're trying to simplify it for non-Russians to get a Russian driver's license to make it easier for them to have one in the event that they're driving with an international driver's license or a one from another country. Um, it would be easy if I just went to the, I guess, I don't, I don't, I'm sure if I even go to the local police station or I go to the traffic police station. I'm pretty sure it's quite simple if you're okay with Russian paperwork. Um, I know they are trying to simplify the process. Uh, eating chicken pong. We don't have a hob at the moment. Eating chicken ping. Ping pong? Ping pong? Uh, yeah, we've definitely got a hob. In England, you call it a hob. Or in Australia, we call it a hot plate. Um, will there be direct connection with plastic? No, we, we, we're going to do a live stream together. We need to schedule it. Maybe we can do it Saturday or some, next two days, and we'll I'll bring him on as a guest, and we'll uh, introduce him formally in a, in a live stream as a guest. That's what we, we talked about doing. Uh, do I see Gopniks? <laughs> I I don't like, I mean, I understand the word and the term and the expression and things like that. I mean, I don't really like the word and the expression. I think everybody here has their own style and everyone has their own personality and everybody works hard for what they've got and what they own and what they use and how they live. And I, I prefer that way. You know, I don't give anybody I mean, I think this is from me working on cruise ships and me traveling on cruise ships to other countries that I don't judge people, you know? Uh, you know, of course, someone's got something better than I've got. Someone's got a better house, a bigger, better car. They live on a higher level. I mean, but they've worked hard to get to that point, you know? They've done something that's allowed them to get to that point in their life, you know what I mean? And everyone's chooses, well... Not everyone chooses their own path because you can't sometimes, but you know, it's, um, I don't really like that word. I know that thing. So yeah, it's nice to love, finally have your own apartment. Yes, it is. And know that it's our place. We can lock the door. It's our place. When we, anything we want to do now, we can do, we can stick things on the wall. There's a hook right there. I'm thinking about putting, I really should put my, uh, YouTube plaque on this wall, so it's in the background of live streams, but there's a hook or there's a, a screw in the wall right here on the left that I should hang it up from, so I can just look at it every time and just stare at it. Um, yeah, the only thing now with owning it is we want to do things, but we need to buy them and pay for them and, you know, live as well and budget to buy things slowly, slowly, you know. Love to meet you in Moscow. I think your wife will message you shortly. My wife. We love your videos. Greetings from Raz Kazovka, Scott. Okay. Or I'm in the, traveling with Russell Channel as well. Andrea, thank you. What's going on? Oh. Thank you. Oh, it's right after the last chat that I'm up to. Thank you for uh, Swedish Krona Six. Thank you, everybody. Really. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. I know uh, you're in my uh, channel, uh, my Telegram chat, and you're very active with everybody there as well. So 
Thank you so much. My wife, when we did that, when I did that last live stream, it was a lunchtime live stream. My wife was at work, right? And a few people donated, literally, literally a few people donated during that live stream, especially to Donation Alerts and Boosty, which we literally get on our card virtually instantly. And we literally went out and bought the replacement of the towel rail because we wouldn't have had that money instantly. We needed, you know, we've got to save for things because everyone has to do that, right, in real life. And my wife was a bit in shock. That literally, I paid for the towel rail. She then paid the plumber to replace it and so forth. But yeah, we were able just to do something on a snap of a finger from that previous live stream. So thank you. I usually civil in Russia without it. Yes, foreign driver's license. Yes, unless you get someone very awkward who pulls you over and then says, oh, it's not in Russian language. Oh, it doesn't appear to be part of the... Warsaw Convention of 19 something or other. From, uh, I haven't heard from you. I'm Kurt. I'm here. Yeah, I do. I'm not doing live streams as often. Uh, pretty much the last couple of weeks has been a bit of a blur with moving into this place and the days leading up to getting the keys because we were kind of told this day, then this day, then this day, and it kind of dragged on. So, um, yeah, I'm not doing as many videos as often because we just didn't have time. I I was sort of thinking we're doing this this day, we're doing that this day. Um, Gopnik is kind of a, a word that's created about a certain micro demographic of people. I guess someone else can probably answer it better than I would without being so unpolite or polite. Uh, An Australian police is in your own opinion what difference between russian and australian police i've only been pulled over once and that was for speeding coming home from work once guy was super nice <laughs> he's like i'm gonna have to give you a fine and i'm like it's my first one i'm like okay you can celebrate then um so yeah i can't i don't have really any interaction with the police in australia literally never well once um so it's really hard to kind of compare them there's definitely more presence of police here. When we were back in Australia in October, November, we virtually didn't see them around anywhere, like on the roads, you know. Here you see them quite actively on the highways and the freeways and by, you know, roads. Um, you see more of them, especially in the center of Moscow, uh, which I've seen for years anyway. It's not any difference, you know. So they're definitely more present in Russia and more visible and more around and more there about you know i can see them in my town quite easily uh yes my my dad is in the chat somebody doesn't understand what are you talking about have you gone to any museums in moscow i've not been to any in a while no i should go to more we'll rewind later vaughn hello yeah you can scrub back and watch the live stream Thank you. Congratulations. Yes, I guess you're talking about me moving into this apartment. Now, somebody said it's called a flat. I call it an apartment. So it depends on where you live. Um, I'm the channel assistant. Plastic Russian. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just helping out where you need a little bit of uh, tweaking. Uh, small Russian villages. Irene, my wife is from Ufa region, Davlokanova. So I've stayed at her auntie's house a few times. That's about as small a Russian village as I can get. Uh, Davlokanova. It's kind of regional Ufa. Uh, we've stayed at our friend's dacha quite a few times. Uh, that's, I don't know how far, three or four hours south of Moscow by train. Um, pretty much, you know, it's dutch's area when there's no name of the train stop where the train stop where you get off <laughs> so mm, yes normal people save it doesn't come organically as an influencer likes to quote yes exactly well that's <laughs> even i'm the same i mean it's not you know you see the people doing car rebuilding videos and they're just buying this buying that they're doing this i mean that's not re <laughs> that's not reality uh, I've had loads of speeding fines. Yes, I had one in Australia. 
and that was it. And my dad will still talk about it to this day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, learn something new today. Yes. Uh, yeah, I guess I, if I let other people talk about the what the answer of the word is, then um, it's easier. Wow, I caught up to the to the to the chat. One hour twenty five. Wow. Thank you, everybody who's still watching live. That's very nice. One hundred twenty eight people. I think that was the highest. Was it? No, one hundred sixty nine people was the most people in the chat at one time. So that's really amazing that we're still over 100. I mean, I don't expect thousands of people. I mean, somebody did ask me a long time ago, why, if you've got 140,000 people who are subscribed, you've only got 100 people watching live. But that's how it is. You know, I've seen a uh, YouTube channel that's got nearly 2 million people on there who are subscribers, and then they've only got 400 people in a live stream. <laughs> so... You know, people don't necessarily like live streams versus like watching uh, the normal content on the channel. So, uh, Russians are a good laugh. Yeah, that guess the more you get to know people, then the more they are funny and engaging. And even if I just take our plumber from the other day, you know, he, we know him from, <laughs> it's actually, he mentioned it too. As he said, so in the four places we've lived in, in this building, he's come and helped us four different times to help to do something. So, and he's, you know, we, he had a coffee, you know, had a cup of coffee while, when he finished doing the, the towel rack thing. Um, and you know, he's good for a laugh. And I think that's very normal. Actually today, while I was waiting for the bus at the Lero Merlin at the hardware store, the guy, when I was just, cause I was just asking about what time the next bus was. And then he's like, aren't you the guy on YouTube? And he recognized me and he was a channel subscriber and I didn't get his first name actually, cause we didn't really talk about names, but, you know, we were having a good laugh. We were actually talking about the cars parked in the car park and where they were from, because where the Leroy Merlin is, it backs onto a Toyota dealership. And you can see all the cars parked there. All these Toyotas are just there forever. And supposedly Toyota's not in Russia, right? But we were talking about all the other cars parked along the, uh, the car park while we were waiting for the local bus to come. And we were having a good laugh for about 20 minutes. <laughs> so... Uh, Nick, you can watch a video of this uh, apartment tour. It's about four or five videos ago. Russian typical low-cost apartment tour. Could you live here? Um, you could watch that video, and I do a walkthrough of the apartment, obviously, when it was empty. Well, when it wasn't. There was actually furniture that was still left here. So this, this sofa here was here. Um some cupboards that were in the lounge room, the fridge, washing machine, table and chairs in the kitchen were here. So all these things we'd like to replace, right? But it's not necessary. But um, yeah, you could watch that video. I mean, I, I was thinking about doing uh, all the things wrong with our apartment video, but I don't really think it's kind of what I should do on the channel as a video because I'd be nitpicking, you know, like, Oh my gosh, like there's a piece of trim around these glass blocks that's not here. And it literally would cost about a dollar to replace that trim. Um, but it's not necessary to do it right now, you know? Uh, but it could be done. I mean, like the glass in the door that's now broken. Well, it was broken before that we didn't realize, you know, but the cost to replace the door was, how much did we look at today? It was about a $100. What's the hundred dollars? Ten thousand rubles? No, less than. Well, yeah, because you'd have to pay for the frame, the trim, and then you'd need to pay for the guy to install the door. So yeah, about a hundred dollars to replace the whole door. And you kind of think, yeah, it's necessary, but it's not really necessary. So, um, yeah, we never laugh. Russians never laugh. Yeah, they're very. I mean, you know, I'd say. You know, it's really a matter of getting to know people and then they do warm to you and you they warm to you. Are you warm to them? Thought I, yeah, we love this area. We like the town. We like the location. We like the view out the window. Uh, when I first met my wife, before I knew her, she was living in this building. 
Um, so she chose to live here 10 years ago. And a real estate agent brought her to this building and, you know, suggested this area to live in. Um, blogging trucker. Hello. We're in our apartment right now. The one I've been talking about in a lot of live streams and my crazy idea. Well, my crazy idea didn't come to full fruition. So the 40 or 50 ruble individual donation would make it come true, basically. Uh, did the attacks scare you and make you want to leave Russia or you don't care? Uh, okay, so this is a tough question to answer. Because I was there on Wednesday, and it happened on Friday. I was at the uh, convention center, which is next to the Crocus uh, con concert ho uh, hall. It's all one huge area. It's two shopping centers. It's a garden center. It's aquarium. It's a hotel. It's a big place. So I was there on Wednesday, and then I was there Wednesday night. I normally would go home 4 or 5 p.m. from the uh conventions that I go to, but I ended up meeting a channel subscriber who invited me for dinner. And we went for dinner at Crocus uh, City, the shopping center. And I ended up getting a taxi home about midnight because we stayed until the restaurant closed. We had a great night. And then that happened on Friday. So yeah, it's it's just the, the fact that I've been there a lot of times, I'd say hundreds of times, that it's more real when you know the place, you know where it was, you know the street, you know where they drove the car through there, you know, everything. And obviously, if you've watched the video of me going back there, if you um, you know, 9-11, okay, blogging truck is from New York, so he would understand about 9-11 and everything like that. Um, leaving Russia, I mean, that's, you know, giving in to certain things by just literally getting on the plane and leaving. So, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I don't think I was at that point. It does make you think twice about things though, you know, um, that things can happen at any time, anywhere in the world, you know? Um... Cindy, hello. Hope you're having a good day. We are, I am. Apart from getting wet catching the bus home tonight. I keep getting caught by the same camera. <laughs> 250, yes. <laughs> then you, you get discount if you pay it early, right? So 250 in Australia, it's 20, 25,000 rubles. If you get caught speeding in Australia, probably more. If you get caught on a public holiday, it's double. Uh, Shushka, yeah, I guess you saw my post on Telegram where I, um, so yeah, just talking about the kitchens. So today when we went to Leroy Merlin, uh, we decided, well, I decided to take the plans or the measurements of our kitchen that we have here. And so the kitchen we've got currently, okay, just has this piece here and a couple of cupboards. It doesn't have that because that's where the fridge is. And we proposed to put the fridge over here. And then this is actually a whole new kitchen. And this is the, well, I guess there's the, tells you all the pieces. You let them know what size it is. They let you know what can fit. Okay, that's the layout. So they give you the plans of the kitchen. And they give you the actual parts list of all of the pieces. And they even gave us the quote to have it installed. So to get it installed is three hundred dollars, well less, well less than three hundred. But then you got to pay delivery to have the stuff delivered. <laughs> so, but oh, we, that's the potential kitchen that we could get if the world was a, you know, was uh, was round still, was flat. <laughs> what do we call it? And that's what my. My wife wonders why we went and did this, right? But, you know, you can go there. You can give them your measurements. They can give you the quote for the kitchen setup. Um, and we can get that. We could. Have you been to New Zealand? Is it true that they have a similar language, a different language? Yes, Maori. 
uh, do you have a dialect in Australia? Well, not really. I guess people from different states have slightly different accents, if there's such a thing. I've only been to the airport in New Zealand a few times. Did the Auckland to LA flight many times going back to cruise ships in America. Yeah, fines in Russia for cars and for speeding is very cheap. That's why a lot of people speed and a lot of people don't care when they speed because they know that the fine is $2.50 or €2.50 Euros 50 to pay the fine and they don't worry about it. <laughs> and it, yeah, you can get, you basically get it sent to your Gosta Lugi, which is your government account, um, and you can pay the fine. And you get discount if you pay it early. And New Zealanders actually is a wee bit like South African accent. That's interesting. Yeah, that's very true. Are you now in your new apartment, Peter? Yes. Yeah, I guess you've been watching live streams for a while, right? So you understand. Yeah, this is the new the new. Well, it's no more the kitchen now. This is kind of a bedroom. Um, and then there's the glass blocks, and then that goes to the lounge room, and then the kitchen and then balcony and things like that. Yes. Oh, you've just realized we lost video and sound at times. We lost video and sound. Oh, okay. I hope no one's entered the chat. How do, How much does the apartment cost if it's not a secret and how many rooms? So yeah, it's basically a one, well, technically it's a one room place because they call them rooms in Russia, but it's a one bedroom place because they've built a separate bedroom to the lounge room in this place. Uh, in the two places we lived in previously, if you remember the one with the yellow and green kitchen, it didn't have a separate bedroom from the lounge room. So a lot of people put a sofa bed in the lounge room and then they pop it open every night as a bed. Uh, I won't really talk about the price because, you know, it's not overly necessary to do that. It's not a secret. You could Google it, I guess. Uh, so yes, now it's owned. Well, we own it and the bank, and a few of everybody who's been a channel subscriber, channel member, people that have done donation alerts, boosties, super chats, everyone owns a tiny fraction of it. Yes. Uh, is that the faucet? Yeah, so that's the, if you're talking about the kitchen, that would be where the sink is, or the tap to the sink. So yeah, when you do this, you basically just, you can change what sink you choose. You can change what tap you use. You can change, okay, the fridge we wouldn't, but uh, the key is the layout. So that's the key is to get the right layout and then where you choose a better or worse sink or a tap, then that's up to you then. Um, congratulations, Russell. Thank you. Cat. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, the last live stream I was here, but it was a lunchtime live stream. So I caught a different audience during the lunchtime stream. Yeah, thank you, Cindy. Yeah, a few people are catching on. Um, yeah, speeding in Russia, $2.50. I lived in Saudi Arabia 10 years ago. And speeding there is $80. Yeah, in Australia, you're looking at about $250 a fine. And then it gets doubled if it's a public holiday. So public holidays like Easter uh, or Christmas, New Year, uh, whatever other holidays they run, they double the fines. So if you speed on a public holiday, $500, 50,000 rubles. Uh, did you test Ditney? I don't know what that is. Ditney? Did you test Ditney? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Peter's not been online much. Yeah, I saw you. You were in a few live streams, though. Maybe you're not watching as many videos, but there is life we've got to live, right? Did you test drive any Brenda? Is that a type of car? I'm not sure who Brenda is. It's also a lady's name. Yeah, fast internet, $6. Yes, I don't have that fast of internet, but yeah, we're paying about $7 or so, I think. I was there when we had to change the, uh, I had to, crazy story. So yeah, we, the Wi-Fi, we just wanted to connect in this apartment and we didn't realize at the time, but we didn't think there was internet connected here. So we called the company and said, can you come? They're like, yeah, we'll come. And then when we moved in and got the key, there's a router plugged in on the wall in the corridor and it's the exact model that I own myself. I bought one thinking we'd need one. 
Um, and then they said, oh, you've got to bring the router down so we can just re-get the password set up. And the internet's about $7 a month that we're paying. Uh, when's the housewarming party? Well, we need to do that, right? We should do a live stream, which is kind of a housewarming live stream. I'm, if I can get my wife to sit here long enough, uh, that would be even more better, even, even more amazing. Uh, I've not test driven any Chinese cars. I've been to some dealerships, but I've not been on a test drive of them. I've done the test drive in a Tesla, but I didn't drive it. It was someone else driving because the guy was crazy and he wanted to show me the abilities of a Tesla. I have done, uh, I have personally driven the Moscovich 3, which is the Russian Chinese car, I guess. Uh, the Jack 7. Um, I've been to Chinese dealerships, but I've not been in one for a test drive. I've rented a couple of taxis. Well, booked a couple of taxis that were Chinese cars, though. They're very nice. Hundreds and a surcharge on in insurance for seven years. Wow. So we we have a, a small mortgage. Well, big mortgage, whatever you want to say. We have a mortgage, yes. Um, but I mean, the, my crazy idea thing still stands all right 46 rubles a person i think it is it's probably gone down now as more subscribers watch the live streams uh i have this idea if everyone gives me 46 rubles 50 cents 50 euro cents whatever you call it we can basically not have a mortgage <laughs> that would be a dream that would be really a dream how many subscribers are here today? I think a lot of subscribers. We've had as high as 169 people watching live. Now we're at 131. Kind of keeps going up and down a little bit. Uh, Savannah says, hello. Oh, hello. Savannah, Georgia. Well, the um, Masters is on. I was watching a little bit of it early, and I'll watch it a bit after the live stream. Uh, I don't tend to have an Australian accent because I tend to speak a lot clearer English and a lot more British than I speak Australian because I like to make sure that people understand me. And if I really talk quicker and more slang, then people just genuinely won't understand me. Um, you know, so the more clear I can speak, the more that it's an easier conversation with people. Uh, Germany has no speed cameras. It's crazy how things are cheap in Russia, yes. I mean, I could probably, if we were very, very smart with doing a live stream, we can probably pay for the kitchen, <laughs> literally. Um, and we could have the kitchen delivered and installed in less than less than a week. Cooking, oh, okay. well, it's 11 here, no cooking here in Russia, but I guess I've got um well no i won't have it now my wife we we made some uh like beef it's more like a beef stew i wouldn't say it was a beef soup it's more like a beef stew like beef potatoes carrots uh, way cheaper yes and some highways with no sleeve limits now uh, yeah they're they're the, the the fridges are definitely small. So in our other place where we were renting, it was a double fridge, which was more the traditional American two door fridge, but there was a bigger space for it in that apartment. In this place, we just have the normal kind of traditional, you know, upside down fridge they call it. This is more than enough for two of us, really and truly, um, and it's perfectly suitable for two of us, you know, and if it. We actually the fridge that's here doesn't need replacing. You know, it's not it's completely it looks very new. So I don't know where it came from prior to us acquiring the apartment. Uh drinking water is safe to drink. A lot of people still drink bottled water though, but that's through choice. Um fuck off. Uh, mm -hmm. okay i misspelled the word gulfport mississippi jordan how's it going 
I've been to, um, well, no, I've not been to Mississippi. I've been to Mobile, Alabama. I've been to Galveston, Texas. I've been to New Orleans. Kind of everywhere but Mississippi. All the cruise ships are not going there. Thinking of going to Georgia, as in Georgia, as in CIS Georgia or Masters Augusta Georgia. Ah, oh, Mariana, no worries. It's okay. I have an Australian accent. Yeah, it comes and goes. I guess the more I'm talking, the less that I correct the English. Uh, everything's cheap except apartments and cards. Apartments can be cheap. It depends on the region, right? So however far you are away from Moscow, it can that's why we're living here, because you know it's well it was within our budget of what we had as a deposit, you know, to go with the mortgage. I mean, we'd love to pay down the mortgage and not have one. Uh, I think that's everyone's life dream, right? I mean, um, then we'd love to change the kitchen. We'd love to get the curtains. We'd love to, we really want to change the wallpaper as well, uh, which is quite an easy thing to do in Russia. Um, thank you, Xiaomi. Crazy ideas are still relevant. I agree with you. It needs some recalculations. It's not pretty much, it's not changed that much. Uh, so your crazy idea donation, it's not that far off where we're at, if that makes sense. You know, so if we could hit this number exactly how you've done it, then we'll be right there. Now, I know I'm talking in riddles, <laughs> but... Uh... Why don't I see disabled people in the parks? Malls are in the streets. They are here in Russia. People, you see them in the metro. I mean, you see people. You you don't see as probably, I guess, as many as you would see in other countries, but they are definitely here. I mean, even today, going to the hardware store, there were some elderly ladies catching the bus. There's a free bus from the shopping center to the hardware store, right? The hardware store runs its own buses. You know, as a courtesy, so that people who do use public transport can get there. And they're happy to get on the bus and go and buy their things and go home and things like that. It looks more beautiful and more spacious. Yeah, I, we, we like the cupboards. We're not a big fan of the open cupboards. You know, remember IKEA had the open glass one with, with the backlit where you can put the... But if you don't have very nice plates and things like that to put in there, you want cupboards to hide things, you know, and not have them on show. Um, I'm completely happy with how this looks. This is my wife's color choice. I chose the bench. She chose the colors. So, um, yeah. Yeah, Moscovich. Yeah, I went to the factory, which is the Renault factory. And there's the video on the channel where I went and did the tour of the factory. <laughs> yeah, everything sounds a bit more epic. It's, that's very true. Yeah, we get a little bit more fired up and excited about things that don't look like they should be as exciting, you know? Northern Arizona here. Oh, Georgia in the CIS. Um, well, seniors in Russia, most of them even live alone due to how easy it is to navigate in the country. Yes. So far during my visit, yes, there is a lot of Elderly people who are very active and get out and about and do things and embrace summers, embrace winters, you know. Uh, I don't really watch a lot of Russian news, Tcash. So I would imagine I only saw it on my, I guess I opened MSN when I opened the X Internet Explorer browser and it showed it there. Um, I didn't even look on Australian news to see if it was on the Australian online websites. So definitely I would say it didn't make the news in Russia. Uh, 60 meters for 10 million. Um, probably outside of Moscow, you could probably inside Moscow in terms of the region of Moscow, it probably might be a bit difficult. 60 square meters, probably something 30 square meters, but definitely outside of Moscow and Moscow region. Definitely. You could 10 million blessings from uh, Massachusetts. I've been to Boston. Love the place. Uh, not one person in these videos do I see pushing granny in a wheelchair outside the such. 
right? Yeah, that you do see people. This is not as often. I mean, Moscow is a big place. Good night, everybody. Yes, I'm gonna slowly head out as well. So we're gonna go for eleven more minutes. Ten plus one, and which is my two-hour normal live stream time. Uh, fresh beef tastes perfectly fine. Yeah, good place to hide the wine and vodka bottles. I mean, we don't really have a stash in this place. We have a couple of bottles of rum that we brought back from my old stash of rum in Australia. <laughs> my wife put them into the luggage, bubble wrapped them, and brought them back. Uh, so she, all seem the same, very safe and good people, very clean streets. Yes. Very opposite of your expectations. I think that's going to be a lot of people's answer when they come and see what's available, what you can and can't get, how easy things to get things. Yeah, the kitchen's very nice. Yes. Maybe we can do that as my wife's live stream, the kitchen live stream. And then the microwave. Definitely we want an oven. We don't have an oven here. That would be, if we don't do the kitchen, we want, still want to get an oven as a default. Peter, thank you. Oh, did I miss? Because I'm not looking over here. That's why. Thank you for second super sticker. Peter Z V Z. Peter. My dad's brother is also called Peter as well. Sometimes he's in the live streams. Maybe with the time difference, he won't be tonight, but. Uh, 10 million can buy. Yes, where you live, absolutely could. Two bedroom house. Not in Moscow. You're looking at 15 or, well, for a house, I'd say 15 million. Not in Moscow, though, in Moscow region. North Texas. Adrian Stevens. Great almost we have seniors cruising in. Yes. Thank you, Fireflux. Thank you so much for being here. If you're heading off early, then eight minutes before we leave the live stream. If anyone wants to do anything like donation alerts, super chats, boosties. Every time I think of boosty, I look at my phone because I can see boosty on my phone. Um, and things like that. Um, yeah. I live in Kazan. So cool that you live there. Are there many homeless folks? Not very few. And there's a lot of help for people here too. And a lot of people have an ability to get helped. And a lot of people have a lot of family who help each other as well. And also in winter, it's not a very nice place to be in winter if you didn't have anywhere to live. Please get her to do the kitchen video. Adrian, do you promise... Susan as well. Everybody's saying we should do that. I guess we should work it out. Should I work it out? Well, we can't. It's be impossible to work it out. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it would. <laughs> um, one. Where are we at? That would be crazy. Imagine doing that and getting enough to do the kitchen from a one live stream. Six eight three oh point zero zero. So we don't have the delivery price, but we've got the installation price. Um, no, that's not right. <laughs> two oh six nine six seven two. So one four one. So I'm just going to divide it by subscribers. Two oh six seven nine seven. It's still not going right. <laughs> it's not a lot. If we divide it by the entire subscriber count of the channel, we could do it on a live stream. The only negative side here is the long winters. They're not that long. You know, and I I prefer winter because I know it's going to be cold. I know what to expect. I know if it's going to be snowing or not. Thank you, Dennis. And yeah, my wife's back to work tomorrow. She has bookings. Well, she has more bookings on the weekends. So she'll have midweek. So, yeah. 
Street seem sterile, not a bird poop, not a cigarette. Cruising in a <laughs> Do you see anyone wearing hearing aids? Uh, very few. I see people doing sign language. So there is deaf people in Russia. I know it's to say it like that, but there was a lady at the hardware store today who was working there with a lanyard and she was doing signing to somebody on a on a on a stream or on a video call. So I'm not sure who, how, how, or what. Thank you for the tours. You're welcome. Oh, in Macedonia. Or Macedonia. Sorry, it was let go. <laughs> Macedonia. Never north, only Macedonia. Oh, north because of North Macedonia. Okay. Got it. Uh shops are nearby. You can go and order anytime there for a large fridge. It's not always needed. Yes, this is very true, Shushka. Right. Yeah, we can go literally downstairs to a couple of shops in our building. Even today when we're at Globus coming home, she's like, I can buy everything in a prelivka. Why are we buying stuff at the supermarket? There is no real difference in price either. But there's not really a difference for us to shop locally versus going to a hypermarket. Uh, before and after. Well, that would be that would be definitely a long a bit of a wait to get the kitchen and everything changed. I mean, the uh, wallpapering would be simpler and things like that. We were thinking of changing the flooring, which uh, when we were at the hardware store today, we saw a guy with the the um you know what do you call it the laminate flooring and you just get a guy in to come and do it yeah long winters yeah you live in a different part of russia so you're not in the same region where people have longer winters take care thank you king if you're off do their hair and nails on weekends mostly yes that's why and my wife has a nail salon in the same building downstairs so uh, ever do a tour of Russian prisons? Um, I don't think that would be possible. <laughs> Unless I meet somebody randomly in the street who knows somebody who knows somebody. Free delivery within 10, 15 minutes from Samarkand. Yeah, I know we can do stuff like Pitorichka delivery and things. I mean, for me, I can just walk there. I'm not as... It's not a lazy factor. It's the fact that it's convenient to do it in Russia. It's not... For me... It's not a lazy thing. Oh, I'm too lazy. I can order. Even I've ordered KFC for delivery. And literally, it comes quicker than I can even walk there and walk back to go and get it. So, yeah, there is a lot of conveniences to getting things delivered in Russia. Um, to aid blind or disabled by having a voice command. Yes, and beeping. Very safe. That's true, Kelvin. The last couple of years in the UK, the cost of food has gone up a lot. I wouldn't say it's gone up a lot. Definitely prices have gone up on things, but that's normal as well around the whole world. Uh, it doesn't matter the factors of what's going on. I mean, a lot of food is domestically produced in Russia, so there isn't necessarily as much logistics. Most of the logistics in Russia is getting something from one side of Russia to the other and having it in the same chain of stores at the same price. And that's the logistics. But the fact that most things are domestically available, then, you know, it's not as, you know, it, it, things haven't gone up a lot. But I think that's, everyone's going to have an opinion of that based on what they, what their normal diet is or what they normally buy on a daily and weekly basis. Uh, thank you, Josh, for becoming a member of the channel. Thank you. There's a few emojis that you can use. You get to see videos a little bit earlier than everybody else. Thank you. That's super nice of you to do that. Um, what next new place? Well, there'll be a food um, food expo video coming on the channel tomorrow. Uh, Queen Street Systems. Oh, hello. How's it going? I didn't reply to your last email because we went out. My wife got home from work. And we went to the hardware store to go look at this kitchen thing, which is, well, this is my thing. <laughs> my wife, we went around in circles about five times. And she's like, you measured up half of the house. And then what are you buying? Um, yeah, we had a lot of, we have a lot of ideas. Uh, we bought just some little knickknacks for the house. We bought a new, uh, like, welcome mat for when you walk in the apartment. We bought a new mat for the kitchen table. We bought the cover to put in the microwave on the food. 
for some reason we just realized we left it in the old microwave in the old place uh we bought some cushions for the chairs in the kitchen because they're really crazy old chairs with a dining room table uh did go up honestly two times after covid firstly and secondly after sanctions oh yeah covid was a massive thing that in australia i was in australia at the time working in supermarkets uh yes imported products yeah mostly because of logistics of getting it here and where it's now coming through third countries and parallel importing I mean especially a lot of things maybe like electronics or certain things that are just not as available as they could be hello from canton ohio where we are super wet been raining for three days yeah we had a shower then i wouldn't even say i, I got drenched but it was a shower but I just, we didn't plan for the weather today. <laughs> so, uh, Zuzdal, I've been to once. We drove to Zuzdal and Vladimir. We actually stayed there for a couple of nights. We got an Airbnb, well, Russian style Airbnb, uh, with, with my wife's uh, friend and her husband. It was very nice, very beautiful place. It's probably two summers ago we were there. I love pugs and cars. Fun to make it your own now. Yes. Well, slowly, slowly, slowly. The next thing is the curtains in the lounge room. That's our next must thing to do is to get the curtains sorted out. And, uh, uh, well, there's no curtains there now. There's just the rod with the rings, which we need to remove. And then we're going to have somebody install the track where you can put the curtains on a track and then open and close them. Because we need blackout curtains in the windows, absolutely. Especially for summer now coming. Uh, Roma, thanks. Krasiba. Romkola. The price of cars in the trade. Oh, you can see I'm at my uh, limit now with a little bit of a yawn. Um, the price of cars is insane. Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely car prices have gone up. I mean, I, I'm not in the market to buy a car, so I can't really answer that as a question, though. E3, E200 for 75K when it was selling for 50K. Love pugs. Hello. That was nobody was buying for 60K. He's now selling for 2 million. What? 600K larder is now 2 million. You've got to be joking. Is that like a must be a rare ladder? Yeah, I, I don't know who, how, or what I would find someone or someone who served in a prison or worked in a prison. That's quite a niche, niche video to find that. Uh, really and truly, Peter. I know I could. I, I have an IKEA screwdriver set. You know the toolkit that you get from IKEA for like twenty dollars. That's the only thing that I own for tools, literally, and a scraper, because I bought a scraper uh, to scrape something off the tiles. That's we can't get off the tiles, and that's all I own. <laughs> so, uh, if I had a friend who lived in the building who you know could just help out, like in Australia, I'd have my brother-in-law uh, Graham. He can pretty much do anything, <laughs> and my dad as well, of course, but. And I'd call Graham and or my dad and would get something done. <laughs> now I don't have those calls, right? So thank you, Adrian. North American. Hello from Russian. My next would be about Russian railways. I need to go on the railway to make a video, though. My previous one was about the uh, Russian um, trams. Oh, before I go, what do you mean about American people? From Russia, Zorasvati. Hello, Porsche. Hello. Oh, looks like there's new people here. Uh, I have thought about it, Nick, many times about going to the Far East. Now, unfortunately, at least in the next immediate future, it will be about doing things to the apartment that we need to do and the money that we need to pay to do things in the apartment. Have you ever thought about traveling to the Russia for three? Um, 
na, na zdrowia. Thank you. <laughs> na zdrowia. Cheers. <laughs> Glad you answered my comments. You're welcome. Happy April. Yes. Paula in Ottawa. Hello. My last name is Ottawa, by the way. Ottawa, <laughs> not Ottawa. <laughs> I think it's not a secret, my last name. So, okay, everybody. I think we're going to wind up. It's just clicked over two hours, the live stream. I so want to thank people who did donation alerts. Essentially, that will magically come in my bank tomorrow, and then it will magically go to my wife's bank so that we can work on these curtains in the lounge room. Um, and then whoever did the live chats, super chats, thank you so much as well. Uh, where are we here? No left turns, El Fuego, Binza Mujershal, Vladislav, Claudio, Peter, Andrea, Peter. Thank you so much for super chats or super stickers. You're amazing. And everyone who's watching, you know, uh, thank you for putting thumbs up. Thank you for putting comments. Thank you for watching old videos or new videos. Tucker Carlson, do you like him or unlike him? I didn't really know much about him. I know about him from uh, American television, from working on, in America for quite a lot of years. I uh, can't really form an opinion of him if you don't watch him enough to understand his opinions. And I did make a video about him making videos in Moscow. So if you want to watch an interesting video, which I got a ton of views, the video that's like, uh, where did Tucker Carlson uh, shop or dine? And where did he, you know, visit in Moscow? I made a couple of nice videos about that. Um, there's no cruise ships coming to St. Petersburg anymore. Uh, they basically, all the cruise ships around the world that were doing the Baltic capitals pulled out of going to St. Petersburg as a, a port stop on the Baltic Capitals cruises. Uh, thank you for the wholesome content. I enjoy your video videos while I work. Jen in Texas. My wife's name is Jen as well, but Yevgenia. Jennifer, thank you. You like me. Thank you, Nika. Thank you so much. Uh, what surprised you most about the Russian cities of Russia? Um, I'm pretty easy going about things. So, you know, there's a lot of amazing things. There's a lot of crazy things. So there's a, it's a very hard balance to find where is normal, right? Um, and what's normal where you live in the world? Okay, I guess you're in Russia with the Russian name. And where other people live in the world is normal as well. And it's very hard to find that balance of what is normal. So... You know, I guess, you know, you could sort of say, I mean, I worked in retail and I worked in supermarkets and I worked in duty-free on cruise ships. And I could say that there's way more opportunity to buy things here, more shopping centers, more stores, more choices of products. Supermarkets have got way more choices of foods, you know, than what we have in Australia as a comparison. So... You know, the availability of things and the ease that you can get things. I mean, okay, you can't get certain brands now. You know, I understand that part. But, you know, I'm not surprised by things as much. I mean, I find it funny and I find it comical and trivial. But, you know, is it worth telling you that story? No, about something, right? A whole background for you that could be used on your live streams. That would be cool. Somebody did that little icon in the corner there. Love pug. Interesting character. Yes. Pronouncing the name wrongly. Yevgenia. Jen. Thanks. Name is Xenia. Oh, Xenia. Oh, Xenia. Nika, thank you. I miss our one mole here. We have one, but it is... I've seen the Russian moles there. Cool, thank you. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I mean, okay, uh, Avia Park's the biggest one in Russia. It's just an easy place to visit because it's got every shop. And it's an easy way to yardstick, you know, what's arrived or left and what's open and closed in Russia by going to one shopping center, you know? In Germany, we live in a clown world. Sure, there's a lot of positives about Germany as well. 
Thanks for the answers. You're very welcome. Okay, everybody. I hope this sounds good when I lean back. I need to do this, don't I? And pull it closer to me. That's all. Oh, look at that. That's super comfortable right there. <laughs> wow. Oh, is that working now? As soon as I fiddle with the mic, it must be just very, very sensitive, that cable. Thanks for babysitting us. You're welcome. The Northwesterners, you're welcome. In Bali, when you go to Bali, there's a lot of bars that say husband daycare center on the front of the bar. So the wives can leave their husbands at the bar, buy them a few rounds of beer, and the wives can go shopping on the streets in Kuta and Legian and stuff. And it's always funny when you see that because it just makes you smile. Husband daycare center. Oh, you're waiting for a report from the from the hardware store. I could have made that video today. I think my wife would have been even more mad with me walking around slowly on top of me walking around slowly today without a camera in my hand. Uh, <laughs> so. You can still come and have uh, Belgian beer in Russia if you're coming. No worries. OMG. Yes, 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 yes. I think it's working now. So I think there's a lot of yeses. Well, drive on up. Yeah, so let's see if we can convince my wife. Let's end the poll over here. That's pretty interesting. The 43% to 57% on the poll. Do you own your own home? It's not that big of a gap in the poll. It's not like one-sided. 474 votes, even with only 100 or so people watching the live streams. A lot of people must have popped in and popped out and did the poll. So it's a lot closer. I like these 50-50 polls. Sometimes when I've done it on the community tab, I think like the tea and coffee one, there was a couple of them that had thousands of votes and it was 50-50. And it's just a crazy poll when you see how close it is yeah coke and pepsi yeah i see this here coke and pepsi nike and adidas or nike and adidas sorry nike and adidas the chernogolovka cola rather than dobra cola <laughs> uh okay out of here coke forever you can still get coke i've got a coke lid right here well no <laughs> this is coke but the, the, this was from Iran. This was Coca-Cola from Iran. That when we moved, uh, I, had a, I had a plan of doing a Coca-Cola tasting video. And I had a whole box of Coca-Colas. And one of them was an Iranian one. Actually, somebody gave me this bottle when I went to the food market. The guy there had like pallets of them. Pallets and pallets of Iranian Coca-Cola. Um, yeah, is that the right way around? Yeah, I think it is. Um, and the guy gave it to me because I guess I was super nice to him. And we were talking about that he had Iranian Coca Cola. You can get Afghanistan Coca Cola here. I can get that from this one, I can't get locally in a Prelifka, but the one from Afghanistan, I can. Wow, you can translate that. Does my translator translate it? It says Coca-Cola. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, that's crazy. Thank you for that, for translating it. Uh, Sandro, this is going to be the last translation I do. Oh, it's in Persian, not in Arabic. Must have come to Nizhny Novograd. Shoot a report. It will be cool. I'd love to get a little bit out and about. I need to make more videos more quickly in the lead up to the end of the month. Yeah, I'm wearing added. I got this in Australia. I finally convinced myself to buy some new clothes when I was in Australia. I rarely buy new things and buy things at the store. I'm very hesitant to go shopping for new clothes, but I got a few polo shirts. 
I, uh, I take told about yes, <laughs> Nike and Adidas. We speak three languages. Oh, Farmington Hills and as in Michigan. Okay, everybody. I think I'm going to click end stream and I'm going to have to say good night or good morning or good afternoon to everybody. Thank you so much again for people who did donations to the live stream. It goes a long way to making things happen a bit quicker um, towards the apartment, basically. The kitchen one is a little bit further off. But if we can do something about the crazy kitchen idea scheme, <laughs> then. <laughs> uh, thank you, love pugs. Thank you, Bim Zamin Jashil. Thank you for your uh, donation earlier on in the stream as well. Mariana, thank you. Good night. Legacy Luxury, thank you. Oh, everyone's saying good night. Thank you so much, everybody. I really hope you've enjoyed the live stream. Uh, we'll do one again very soon. I don't know when. Kind of like the lunchtime ones, but I guess that's a different audience to the late night ones because of the time differences. Evelyn, good night. Peter, bye for now. Yes, it's not good night. Goodbye. It's goodbye for now. Thank you so much, everybody. And I'll see you in another video. And thank you, Paula. I'll let my knife <laughs> love to my wife. Thank you. Uh, when do you think I can, I can, Nick, I'm, not, I'm just not going to, if I didn't click it and it's not ending, I can get on a plane, I can get a taxi to the airport, it's 14 minutes, I can get on Turkish Airlines to fly through Istanbul and go to anywhere in Europe tomorrow morning. Um, so it's not impossible even to this day, you can fly with Air Serbia, uh, or you can fly with, the easiest one is with Turkish Airlines. They fly a few times a day out of a, out of Vanukova Airport, which is down the road from me. If you really want to go the long way, you can go to St. Petersburg, get a bus over to Helsinki or to Finland, and then go through Europe that way. Uh, you could also fly to or Tashkent, Uzbekistan, and then fly. You can get a flight from Tashkent to New York if I wanted to. Yes, yeah, so that's definitely absolutely possible. No worries at all. Okay, end of stream. Bye, everybody.